Hello everybody, my name is Sullivan, and I am the new Indoraptor on the island. I also happen to be Suzanne's new boyfriend. Yes, you may have thought she was still dating that fool Trevor, but I have taken ownership of her heart and there is no room for this Trevor fellow anymore. He is such a barbarian, that man, and I am sophisticated. In no way does he compare to me. And, uh, is that dinosaur laughing to himself? Oh my. You see, I happen to be an elite and evolved creature among a bunch of fools. Yet, I have no memory before this place. I have scoured the deepest recesses of my mind in order to remember, but all I do remember is that fool Trevor. Hey, bro! Welcome to the island, man! Yes, he was there from the very beginning, and I knew from that moment that we would be enemies. How dare he refer to me as bro or man. I am a sir or doctor. This blatant disrespect could not be allowed to stand. Over the course of the next several months, I used my superior intellect and skills of observation to study Trevor. In the end, Trevor turned out to be quite a simple creature. He hid his insecurities under a blanket of forced masculinity in order to try to assert his dominance when clearly he has none. Yes, I would not be lured into his friendship. Hey bro, do you just want to hang out and eat goats for a while? No, I would rather not. Okay, bye! It was amidst my investigation that I came across something that caught my eye. Or should I say, someone. It was a rather ravishing looking Indoraptor who looked, quite frankly, much like myself, which was to her benefit, seeing as I am quite the specimen. But she had these gorgeous orange markings. And immediately a new investigation emerged. I must find more about this Suzanne. Not only was she gorgeous and fierce, but I needed to know, did she remember anything before this island, or did her memory begin the same as mine? After some particularly clever sleuthing, I came across a wonderful discovery. You see, Trevor and Suzanne were in the midst of quite a love affair. Hey babe, you should have seen me at the gym today, like my calves are sick. I bet they are, Trevor, because you are sick. <coughs> nah, I'm feeling better. Oh, you've been like cool, yeah, you're, you're sick too, bruh. Oh, Trevor. <laughs> this could not have worked out more perfectly for me. My two missions of winning the heart of Suzanne and destroying the creature Trevor have now merged together into one singular vision. For many months I waited patiently, working from the shadows to destroy their relationship and win the heart of Suzanne, until one particularly stormy day, all of my plans and patience paid off. You see, there was a tornado this day, and Suzanne is particularly touchy around these heavy storms. Trevor and Suzanne had been already fighting, and I knew the moment was near when this bond would break. I just can't do this anymore, bro! You're just always yelling at me! I can't do this anymore, Trevor! Just go away! Well, neither can I! You're so obsessed with your business, we'll never be able to start a family! I don't want a family, Trevor! And I don't want this anymore! Fine! <laughs> <laughs> my plan worked more per- Oh, hey Sullivan. Hey Bobby. But as I was saying, my plan turned out perfectly by encouraging Suzanne to pursue her business and career aspirations. And by telling Trevor that he's not a man till he starts a family, I have properly torn them apart. <laughs> now Suzanne and I are in quite a lovely relationship. Hello, Sullivan. Hello, Suzanne. How are you today? I am so good, especially now that you are here. How is your hand collection coming? 
It is going quite well, I have to say. There are less donors, though, around here who want to give me their hands. Well, you're going to have to double your efforts if you want to surpass the amount of feet that I have in my foot collection. Is that a challenge? That indeed is a challenge. A challenge that you should not take because you will fail. Well, well you, don't, you don't know that. I mean, I, could, I, I know could. everything. Have you forgotten? Well then. But I'm I love gonna, you. I, I love you too. But I'm going to go now okay. and collect more feet because I am a champion. Ah, it truly is a wonderful thing to be in love. Now, even though our relationship started mainly out of spite of Trevor, I have become quite fond of Suzanne, and am thinking about possibly starting a family with her myself. Yet, that is still quite some ways in the future, as I have my own business aspirations and maniacal plans to get to before settling down. But she understands me, and it is something that I greatly appreciate, as I hardly understand myself most days. But, besides Suzanne, I have come to make one other wonderful friend here. Hello, my good friend. How are you today? That is wonderful, my friend. I'm so excited for you, pursuing your dreams through intellectual conquest. I couldn't be more happy for you. <laughs> Very well, actually. I am close to a breakthrough. Soon, we will be able to replace all the rocks on the island with fireproof stones. That way, Carl will no longer be an issue for you, my friend. <coughs> Until next time, my good friend. You see, Spencer and I have become great friends over the past several years. He's got such a dazzling intellect and a drive to accomplish his goals. For some reason, the other dinosaurs on the island can't seem to understand him. But I don't know why that surprises me. Most of the creatures on this island are primitive and Neanderthalic in many ways. Unlike Spencer and myself. Oh, hello, darling. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful today, Sullivan. I actually ran into Trevor today, and he was telling me about his new workout program at the store. What? That insolent fool! How dare he think he can speak to Suzanne? What is he trying to pull? Is he trying to squeeze his way back into her heart? Well, I will show him. This time I will not be so subtle. He will learn the hard way that you do not mess with Sullivan, the Indoraptor. I am the one who does the mischievous work, and I will no not have the love of my life ripped away from my arms by this buffoon. So, Raven, stop it right there. I've got nothing left to say to you, doctor. You must be taking your anxiety pills. I do not need anxiety pills, you fool. I am in control of my emotions. You are in control of nothing. Your emotions have control of you. I would advise you to leave now, Bruce, before I have to kill you. Oi, you have always been a headache to me, Sorobin. Oh, that doctor is a fool. He knows nothing of medicine or biology or neurosciences. I am the master of my fate. I will not be bothered by these emotions or anxiety. How dare anyone speak against me? I will not be taking any medication. I don't need any help. Not from anyone. Not from the doctor especially. Not from Suzanne. I help myself to whatever I please. It is my birthright. And now I will go and take my vengeance on that monster Trevor for trying to steal away my woman. Trevor, you buffoon! Pay attention to me, you monster. Oh, hey, Sullivan! How's it going, man? I am not your man or your bro. And stay away from Suzanne. How about you just stay away from me, bro, because I don't need to take this from you. You will listen to me, you buffoon! Do you think I broke you and Suzanne up just so that you can walk back into her life? What? You... You did what? 
It was you who turned her against me. Oh, I knew it from the beginning. I knew she still loved me. If it wasn't for you, we'd be a happy family by now. You better not forget this, bro. If you come near me again, or try to meddle in my affairs ever in the future, I will kill you for real, bro. I used to kill dinosaurs in a fight club like all the time, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take you out, bro. So, watch yourself. You better not cross me again, bro. Oh, well that was unexpected. Perhaps I underestimated Trevor. But I will go back and retrace my steps, and I will learn from these mistakes. Maybe the doctor's right. Maybe I should take some medication or get some help for my mental instability. Ugh, Suzanne is not going to be happy with me when she hears about this. But, I suppose from a certain point of view, Trevor did mercilessly attack his former lover's current lover. Hmm, I believe there is a tale to be spun here. One that makes me look like an innocent victim, a martyr, and it makes Trevor look like an- You talking about me again, bro? No, no, Trevor, not, not at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I will have my revenge.